So this was a previous video. We looked at how increasing and decreasing curves uh, and what was happening with the differential. So now we're going to just have only the differential curve. So only have the differential. And the questions are, use this graph to find out where fx is increasing. So not the differential, but fx. And where it's decreasing, we'll find out with the local maximum of fx and the local minimum of fx. So if we remember from last time, what we know is that whenever f dash x is above the y, the x-axis, is positive. So here, if I just trace across here, we've got it all positive here, all the way down to here. So if I join those up, the green is where f dash x is positive. OK, so we can answer that first one and say between negative 3 and 5, those two points, we are increasing and we're not equal to that. OK, so that's where it's increasing. F dash X is above. So the opposite is going to be true. So here, and let's just do this in a different colour. Let's do it in black. These points here in black are where F dash X is below the X axis. So if X is smaller than negative 3 and where X is greater than 5, we are in, we are decreasing. We have a negative gradient. So let's just think about the maximum and the minimum. Now, if we remember on a previous one, we saw that the maximum point was where the differential cut through the, the x-axis. And the minimum point was where the differential cut through the x-axis as well. So I look at these two points I've circled here. One could be a maximum, one could be a minimum. Well, we're not sure. But let's think about it. At minus three, we've gone from a negative gradient to a positive gradient. So I'm just going to sketch out what that curve's doing at minus three. It's going to go from being negative, which means it's decreasing, so it's coming down, to a point. And then after negative three, it starts rising again up to this point here, which is at five. So the whole time from negative three to five, we have got an increase in function. Then after negative five, it's decreasing again. So although we don't have fx, we can make a quick sketch here and we can see what's happening. Just one more time, this point here, below minus three, we are decreasing. So we're coming down like that. Then we increase, then we come down again. A little bit hard to get your head around all that. But let's just put those answers in. For C, the local maximum is at x equals five. And that means that the local minimum is the other place where it cuts across the x-axis. It's minus three. So even though we didn't have fx, from f dash x, we're able to find out where it's increasing, decreasing, and where the local maximum and minimum points are.